Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, it's probably coming. Here it comes, I think. Oh, you can see the railing system in there. It's gonna guide it out. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. uh, wait. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with another Creations episode. Now, if you're gonna ask where the update is, either I didn't get the update in time to film an episode, I kinda wanna explore it a little bit more, or maybe you saw an update video and this is just coming out afterwards, depending on when that update releases and uh, how I actually uh, get into it. Now, if you're curious about the update, the update is a camera update, a radio update. There's several like really big things that are coming out and uh, it's gonna be fantastic as soon as we get a hold of it. But today we're gonna be checking out several awesome creations. So first thing we're starting off with is the Topol Missile Launcher by Night Guard. Now we've actually built one of these in Scrap Mechanic, we play with one of these in Brick Rigs, and we've played with several missile launchers in this game, but this thing is massive. So we're gonna start off with this here today. All the creations are linked down in the description if you wanna download anything from this episode. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's check out these creations. All right, so we're gonna hop up in the driver's seat. I just thought of something really cool. You know, with the camera update coming out, could you imagine if you were to stick a camera on the end of like the missile and you could actually watch it track into its target? Oh, that would be absolutely amazing. All right, so let's get moving here. There's a ton of wheels on this. This thing looks insane. Holy man. Yeah, this is uh, much more impressive than the one I built in a scrap mechanic. Of course, that's been like probably a year and a half, two years since I built one. But uh, let's go ahead. We're going to park it about probably right here. I think the, uh, the launch controls and everything are in the back, so... Do I have a parking brake? Reverse? No. Okay. On. Stop rolling. There we go. All right. Let's get in the back. So another cool thing that I kind of want to do with the update, I like to see that on like missiles and drones, but I also thought about maybe doing another tsunami bunker. And I thought about building one myself and maybe placing some cameras outside and just ha try to have like some sort of alert system. That way you can actually see the tsunami coming in from the inside. So we might actually try that here soon. Uh, what the heck is this thing? Toggle button. This is... Okay, this is probably storage. I think all the, uh, the launching comes from this little back section, if I'm not mistaken. So we jump into here. Ah, here we go. Launch controls. Yes! This is gonna be epic. We probably want to close the door here. So let's go ahead and close that. Alright, do we have a... Okay, there's our light. Alright, so we have the, uh, missile speed. We have the distance. Uh, the max altitude. So we have a large keypad here which I'm assuming is a GPS system. We have the uh, raise the missile shaft and the start. Pretty simple startup procedure. Now what do we have to target here in Stormworks? I kinda wanna hit, maybe we'll hit the oil platform. So we're gonna mark it, set a waypoint there. All right, let's go ahead, input. I'm assuming this is what this represents. Probably need to read the description, make sure this isn't for like speed and distance or something. But I'm, I'm thinking it's a GPS here. All right, half confirmed, that is uh, for coordinates. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and raise the missile shaft here. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, the top blows off. That's uh, something that's normal. I didn't think it blew off until right before launch, but this one blew off right when it was raising. That platform looks amazing. Oh, geez. All right, let's go ahead, get our start key ready to go here, okay. Oh uh, boy, I'm gonna have to hop into uh, free cam mode, that way we can watch it. It's supposedly gonna go off and to the right. This is where the camera would be really useful. Like to mount that to the front, you could actually travel with the rocket. Alright, so we are ready to go. Uh, boom, okay, let's go photo mode. We are gonna catch this thing. Actually, we probably wanna see it from this side. Alright, let's resume. Oh, buddy, you hear it throttling up? It hadn't kicked on yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, it's probably coming. Here it comes, I think. Oh, you can see the railing system in there. It's gonna guide it out. Oh, there it goes! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, wait, okay, wait, there it goes. Oh no, it's actually heading over. You can kind of see the platform. I might have to zoom in a little bit. 
Yeah, you can see it's heading that way. Is it going to actually go down and strike it? Holy... Oh! 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 I think the missile just got out of range. It despawned. <laughs> okay. So, note to self, you need to hit something a little bit closer. Wow. That was a little disappointing. I forget that that does that. Sometimes when creations get separated, uh, it'll make them disappear. I feel like we didn't give that a fair shake then. Alright, so I've moved a ship away from the shoreline. I realize that you have to be two kilometers away from the missile or it will not launch to its intended GPS location. So, we're gonna go ahead. We're uh, 2.1 out. Let's go ahead and just throttle down. Okay. So we're going to quick travel. We almost made it to another island. I hope it still works. I mean, that distance compared to this distance doesn't look too much different. And it despawned itself. Actually, something's out in the water. Oh, is that the... That's the missile that's still out there. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. I really hope it does. Because if we can strike this ship from this far out... Like, I can't even see the ship, can I? Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, all right, well, missile launcher is in place. Let's go ahead. We're going to tell it to strike over here. I don't wonder if the uh, the missile did hit the uh, the oil rig. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and set the waypoint. We'll take a boat out and see if we can locate the missile uh, after we launch this thing. Uh, yeah, but it did despawn my vehicle last time, but I bet that missile is still out in the ocean, potentially. I don't know. We'll have to get a vehicle out there, like I said. All right, new coordinates are going in. Boom. Okay, so we're good. All right. Go and start the uh, procedures here. All right, it's going to go ahead, power up. You can't even see the boat from here. That's a little concerning. All right, so we're going to let it fire off, travel out. It's going to despawn my vehicle, I think. Uh, we'll see here. I have a feeling like two kilometers where it despawns once a uh, part gets away from a vehicle. All right, there goes the missile. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, that might have damaged the missile. All right, it's heading out. Okay, just give it its... Actually, I think it's on course. I think it's fine. I don't know. I can't tell. It's gone. She's gone. Okay, so... Oh, there goes my thing. Uh, did it make it? Hold on. Do we have a tracking on it? There it is. Okay, so it stopped. It stopped like this one stopped. Huh. That's strange. Like, I don't think you can really hit something right now with the current spawning system. Let's take a boat out there. All right, we are heading out to either see if the missile struck the ship or did it just die off in the water. There should be one to the right, too, uh, somewheres. All right, so we're getting there. Let's start tracking. Wait, the missile started back up. Look at it. You can see it again. Hold on, I'm going to pause this. What the heck? Why does it do that? That's so strange. So the missile was still suspended in air. You can see it. I'm going to zoom in. There's a little dot there. That is the missile. All right, we're heading out. It's dropping out of the sky. I don't wonder if the, the oil rig got struck too. Hold on, loading vehicle. This might still be working, folks. That's a little strange. I guess it's a game limitation, but we're going to see. Did it hit it? That's the big question. It's getting a little laggy out here, so I know something big is happening. I'm kind of curious if we struck the uh, oil rig, too. All right, here we go. Looking. I can see our waypoint. Okay, let's go and start backing off the throttle here. All right, she doesn't look like it's been struck. Let's go ahead and uh, remove this. There we go. Missile looks like it overshot by a little bit. It's up uh, a little north of this. Hold on. Let's cruise by. Make sure it didn't bounce or something. Alright, looking at the ship. Ship looks like it is... Uh, I don't see any damage on the ship. Okay, can't confirm. Missile missed the ship. Overshot it by a little bit, but it was definitely heading down that way. Now, question is, was the missile damaged on the way out of the tube? Uh, because it did... Oh, there's the missile right there. It's right below us. Yep, it's underwater. All right, we're going to turn. Let's go to the uh, oil rig real quick. And we'll see if that one hit. Because I don't think that one uh, got damaged on the way out of the tube. It's a uh, very... Well, that may be what killed that missile. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe that's what made it overshoot. Okay, did the other missile make it? Okay, the other missile still suspended right here. I don't know if it's actually dropped. Or really what it is. It might actually reappear and hit its target so 
I want to keep an eye to the sky here. All right, I have no visual on the missile. Let's see, missile should be somewhat on. It's loading. There it is. You can see it. Is it going to drop? Drop, 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 drop. It looks like it's going to overshoot. Okay, so what it's doing, uh, it gets to its location. It looks like the thruster kicked off, and then it drops, but it still carries momentum. So in theory, let's try to measure. Okay, so we'll get to the oil rig. We'll keep going out. We'll see where it actually drops. So you want to set your GPS location maybe a little before. That way, once it kicks off the thruster, it still launches a missile into the creation or, or whatever you're trying to hit here. Okay, so there's the oil rig. Uh, she's probably... Whoever was on that is probably really frightened right, right now because of the whole fact they just had a missile shoot over them. Okay, let's go and slow up. Okay, look, look, look. Oh, it's deep here. Okay, let's see if we can just get the reading. There it is. Okay, so, man, that's not far, I'm telling you. Okay, so we have this. All right, so we're going to take the distance of where it landed. So we're going to say roughly two and a half squares. And we're going to set our new GPS location to... Let's go here. So I'm going to go back. We're going to launch one more. And we're going to see if we can at least conk this thing, since it's a little bigger than a ship. Uh, I think this might actually work. All right, let's go ahead and head back here. All right, here we are. Final attempt here. So we're going to try to hit the oil rig. Should be firing up and launching. Come on, baby. Uh, don't damage yourself or anything. Uh, there she goes. All right, we have successful launch. All right, we're going to jump in our speedboat. Yep, she is traveling that way. So my hope, like I said, is that it kills its thrusters right before it gets to the oil platform. That way it actually hits it. I hope I'm actually correct. Uh, it's way over there, and it's gone. Okay, so let's get in our speedboat, and let's head out to the platform and see what happened. I swear if that missile comes out of nowhere and hits this, it'd be the most hilarious thing ever, but uh, I definitely think something happened there, and I'm not really sure what it was. I uh, had this location marked here. Should have dropped out of the sky and right around this area, but... Obviously, you can see that, nope, that is a big no. All right, well, yep, this, uh, the platform looks to be clear. You guys got spared here today. Uh, yeah, nope, no missile. Huh, I don't understand how that didn't work that time. Not really sure. Anyways, we should probably move on to our next creation. Very awesome uh, thing, though. I love the Topol Missile Launcher. Uh, I think it would actually work pretty flawlessly if it wouldn't despawn once it gets so far out and you'd have to actually like travel out and make it respawn, which obviously the last time it didn't work there. But very cool creation. Let's move on to the next thing. All right. So for our final creation that we're going to be checking out here today, this is the Aeronaut Mark 1. This is by Gavin Boyd. We actually checked out, I believe it was his air carrier the other day with Frantic and we've got a new creation. Now, this thing looks absolutely awesome. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what's the difference between this and the air carrier? Well, obviously, there is no runway on the top, but this one has something a little bit different feature-wise, and it's tucked into the craft itself. But first, let's go ahead, let's get it moving. So we got starters, okay, so we have autopilots here. Uh, there's jet throttle, airship lights, going to get nav lights on, cabin lights, control lights. Uh, we got spots, let's see, disable and overload. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't think I want to know. Uh, let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. All right, so there's your jets. I'm going to let those fire real quick. It's already default set to 20, so they should fire up. There we go. All right. So let me make sure this is... Yep, there it is. There's a, uh, there's a boat tucked into this. I'm hoping we can deploy it out in the water, which is really cool. Uh, this will make this really useful for, like, career mode and stuff like that. All right, let's go ahead, start to let's move forward slightly. I don't want to activate the uh, jets forward yet. I like to roll out first. So if I were to maybe ease this forward by maybe 0. 0.12. There we go. That's helping us move out. This looks amazing. I like this a lot. Uh, not laggy at all either, uh, which is pretty surprising, especially with it being this slow to the ground right now. It'll, of course, get better once we get into the sky. Uh, I think it's... Pretty safe to start going forward here. We'll throttle up the jets a little more. 
All right, let's go ahead and start to go up into the air here. Do I need to have the jets throttled even more? Probably do, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and go jet throw. Oh, okay, 150 is probably enough. Let's go 125. There we go. Check that out. Uh, what is that? I believe that's an elevator. Uh, it looks to be bouncing a little bit, but it's okay. All right, let's go ahead. We should probably turn this real quick before we head into a mountain. Man, it is amazing the stuff people are creating here in Stormworks. Like, this is so cool. And then with the camera, when they come out, I shouldn't say if, but when they do come out, uh, this is going to be more amazing because could you imagine mounting cameras to this thing? Uh, give you a little bird's eye view of things that you might not see, especially in, on the cockpit. So say if you had like monitors and stuff, you could see like maybe a camera right below you, maybe on the tail section. You can even have security cameras inside. Say you want to spy on your friends. Uh, I think that would be actually pretty neat. We'd probably need a couple of those for somebody like OB. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get over the uh, the water here. All right, so we're pretty much in a hover mode. Uh, oh, she's bouncing a little bit. Okay, this is fine. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's walk up into here. This is probably... Oh, this is an elevator. Uh, let's go ahead and go back over here. This is like a crew quarters area, which is pretty awesome. So you got seating. Uh, there's some doors here, but they don't appear to go anywhere. I don't believe. So we can go this way. There's our boat, which I think that's what's causing us to bounce right now. We got an elevator, which I don't know if I want to be standing here. Okay, what is... Uh, let's go ahead and call it real quick. Okay, so it is... Ooh, what the heck is it doing? Uh, I think that actually goes down. So say if you were to launch the boat, somebody else could pilot it down, get a little elevator down for you. Uh, that way you can actually get back up into the uh, the airship here. That's amazing. The bouncing's a little weird, but other than that, this is a very, very cool craft. Now, this thing does have an autopilot, so let's tell it to go somewhere as, as we're going to be uh, working with the boat. So we'll just say somewhere, somewhere's way out here. There we go. Set that. Boom. Set it in. There we go. Autopilot, power, and autopilot. All right. She should be moving. I think I can feel her turning. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the boat real quick, and let's deploy. This bouncing is a little weird. Uh, where's... Okay. Look around. Can I do all this from inside of here? Uh, that's a good question, huh? Oh, getting the helm. All right, front connector, down, up, and then the magnet. What about the doors? Where's the door button at? I'm pretty sure that's a, it's a thing that we need to get off. Where is that? Okay, look around. It's not... I don't think it's in the back. I think it needs to be somewhere up here in the front, potentially. Uh, door controls, door controls, door controls. Um... Okay, you know, maybe we should just try going down. Let's see what happens when we hit down. This is... Oh, the, the elevator's open automatically. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I don't think this is going to go down far enough. Uh, <laughs> we might be a little far for this drop, but nonetheless, this is uh, awesome. Actually, we might travel over an island. Uh, <laughs> are we still going down? No, yeah, we are. Uh, let's see how far we can get down to try to make this a safe landing here. All right, I think we're as far down as we're going to get. Uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Three, two, one, deploy. Oh, boy. Wait. Wait. Maybe if we start at gas in this, this will work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Go that way. Go that way. Oh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Han is going to... Okay, go back up. Go back up. Will it stay upright? Nope, you might want to deploy that a little bit lower. <laughs> kind of knew that was going to happen. So yeah, uh, definitely deploy maybe 100, 200 meters lower. There goes the airship. It actually looks like it's going a lot faster now, isn't it? It's uh, going to its destination without me. That's fine. And you know what? We're just going to climb up here. We're, we're okay. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Just wanted to check out those two creations. Uh, very cool. The Topol Missile Launcher. Uh, let me know if you guys have any luck with it. I think it works. It's just really game things that kind of screw with it a bit. But yeah, that and the airship, both are really cool creations. Hopefully we're covering the update, or we might have already covered the update, depending on when I get a hold of it. Uh, but we'll be doing that this weekend in some multiplayer. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support. You guys are awesome, and we will see you guys next time.